Here's this week's roundup of AI tools for content creators you can't afford to miss. Starting with a tool that can do things like this, captions on your videos. Opus Clip is a tool that's been kicking around for a while. YouTubers love it for adding sizzle to their videos and creating shorts. They recently announced Opus Clip captions, which can do funky things like you've seen at the start of this video. Now it is free to sign up and use. There are of course paid upgrades. So with the link that you'll get in the bottom of this video in the description, you will be able to go straight to this page where you can drag and drop a file you'd like to caption. Next, I get to choose a style. So let's go for beastie style, of course, Mr. Beast. I can also choose to caption in a different language, add emojis and add keywords in highlights. I'm gonna switch on the emoji option and click add captions in one click. And there you go, within moments, just a few slurps of coffee, and I've got my captioned video. Here's this week's roundup of AI tools for content creators you can't afford to miss. Isn't that amazing? And it really helps to draw in viewers to your video who may be watching on mute initially. Now I can then download the HD. I'll need to sign up for an account to do so and use it in my creations. And here it is in my account. I've got the ability to like this clip if I really love it. I can export as XML so I can easily get it into Premiere Pro. I can also just download the HD video, which is what I'm going to do. Opus Clip can do so much more than just captions, and I'll show you an example right now. If I grab the link to last week's AI Tools video and then paste it in here, I can get clips that are fully produced that I can upload as YouTube Shorts in just one click. And here we go, some shorts made from last week's AI Tools update. And what's more, it's ranked them out of 100 for the possibility that they'll go viral on shorts, TikTok, and Reels, which is super handy. So you'll see this is the kind of quality I get. This week has been pretty incredible in terms of AI tools for content creators. Here's my roundup of the best I found during the week. Let's take a look at one in particular called Structure Reference. This is kind of similar to Mid Journey with their style reference. Pretty cool the way it tracks you and follows you as you move around on camera. And of course, again, we've got the opportunity to share directly, to export to Premiere Pro, to download, or even edit the clip to our own desire. Here's another clip. Next up, we're gonna look at something from Nexa AI, and they've got Build AI, which essentially is GPT actions for content creators like you and me. If you like this video so far, throw a like and make sure to subscribe to my channel as I'll do videos like this weekly, usually on a Friday. This week is a bit different because last week I was away with my family in Italy. There was lots of gelato, pizza involved and beautiful sunshine. But anyway, back to the tools and let's move on to stable audio. Now, just like the previous tool, Opus Clip, Stable Audio also starts from a free plan. They made a significant upgrade to Stable Audio version 2.0, and it's pretty decent. Let's try it out right now. So in the prompt box here, I can put in a style of music I'd like. So let's go for jazz, smooth, saxophone, piano, double bass, brushes, swing, that kind of vibe. Let's generate it and make it a three minute clip. Now this is pretty usable. So if you're looking to use, there's the saxophone, incredible. Background music for your YouTube videos, make a podcast intro, this could be ideal. And it's even got a super duper ending. Now I can of course downvote or upvote depending on how I feel. I can share it straight out from Stable Audio and I can download the track to use in my creations, which is fantastic. Next up, I'm generating rock with distorted guitar and power chords. <laughs> This stuff is very, very usable. Let's do one more prompt. And we're gonna create funk, groovy, slap bass music with wah-wah, clav, horns, percussion, and more. It's totally usable and I love the way that Stable Audio always finalizes each track with an ending rather than fading it out or ending abruptly like some other AI generative music models do. Finally, I want to show you the newly introduced audio to audio feature in Stable Audio version 2.0 and you can click add audio here and this is where you have the ability to record any audio and have Stable Audio make a tune in that style. Let's add audio, you can upload or record. I'll record. La 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 la. Okay, this time let's go with a reggae style prompt. 
And I've got to say, that's not bad at all. That's a good starting point. Now, I have to confess to wanting to know if audio to audio works well with current music tracks that already have a style and sound. So I'm going to add audio, upload, and I'm going to use this current jingle that we already have. So that's how it currently sounds. I will add that to the upload and I will change the prompt to be a hip hop style prompt and let's see what comes back. Now I've got to say it didn't really sound very much like the original audio I uploaded, but it definitely has taken parts and made an interesting new mix. So perhaps if you've got some of your own musical creations and you want to change them to something brand new, this could be the right thing for you. Now, the good news about Stable Audio is it uses the Audio Sparks library, which is fully licensed, meaning anything you generate with this should not have any copyright issues. And as I mentioned, you get free 20 credits a month. But if you upgrade to Pro, and they have different plans for that, you actually get what's called a creator license that allows you to basically use the stuff you generate for commercial purposes. You also get more track generations as you pay more per month. So definitely worth considering if you need lots of music for your YouTube videos or podcasts or online creations. And because it's unique, this AI generative music will not be used by anyone else, which is often a problem we run into when we use things such as the YouTube music library or other well-known stock audio libraries. So if you're enjoying what you've seen so far, do throw a like and subscribe as I bring these updates to you weekly. I can't let you go without letting you know about upgrades to DAL E3, which is an AI image generator. It's kind of similar to Midjourney. You'll see me using that a lot on the channel. And if you have a ChatGPT Plus subscription from OpenAI, it's $20 a month, you'll get access to be able to generate images with it. So I'm going to go in and select DAL E here. Now, what I can do with this is generate an image like so. I put make me a picture of an orange. And there you go, you see it's followed my prompt exactly. Two juicy looking oranges there. Now if I wanted to change it, maybe add some leaves to the top, You'll see it's added some interesting looking leaves, but these are two totally different images to the images I had before. That's not great if I want continuity. Well, now with the DALI upgrade, I can select an orange image I like the best. So perhaps this one, open it up. And now I have a new feature, select an area of the image to edit, highlight the area and describe the changes. So let's do that. So I've selected this area, I've typed in add leaves. Let's see what comes back. And there you'll see in all the different examples I have here, it's added leaves, but it hasn't really done it that well. It might just have been worth to ask for an orange with leaves on top. Nonetheless, I'll start a new chat and try a completely different prompt to try and show you other ways that this feature could work. This is really nice and some beautiful creations here. So again, going into this one and selecting the ability to paint a part of the image and change it, I might actually select all of the sky here and tell it to change the time of day to a starry night. And look at that, how beautiful, uh, rather otherworldly as well with a nighttime scene and definitely a few stars poking out there in the dark sky. I also have the ability to change the size of the brush to be really big if I want to select something big or really small if I want to be small and detailed. Perhaps I want to get rid of this tree and you see it's done a perfect job of getting rid of the tree. Next, I'll go in and choose to edit an area. I'll make the brush a bit bigger and I'll select right next to the adult line here and I'll ask it to to add a baby lion cub sitting next to the adult lion. And there you go, it's done it. Maybe the continuity isn't quite right. I'd have liked them both facing the same way. And ideally, if you want something like that, maybe refine your initial prompt. This feature I feel is gonna be really good for tidying up small blemishes like uh, trees in the wrong places or sun in the wrong area, but changing a whole stylistic look of the image may not be the best use of the feature. Let's try something new, a serene sandy beach with crystal clear turquoise water and palm trees. And you'll notice you also get suggestions here as to how your image could look. Let's make it into an oil painting and the aspect ratio I can choose, let's make it widescreen. And there you go, using the style guide and aspect ratio, we can get a pretty cool looking image. I can maybe open up this one and use the paint tool. I'm going to reduce the size of the brush. And just between these two trees here, 
I'm going to select a little portion like that and ask it to add a hammock strung between the two palm trees. Now, if you use this feature excessively, you may get a rate limit error. In fact, DALI 3 has given me just that. And well, while I wait, I can demonstrate another new feature that came to ChatGPT this week, and it's called Read Aloud. I can actually have the message read to me. You're generating images too quickly. To ensure the best experience for everyone, we have rate limits in place. Um, please wait for four minutes before generating more images. Let's use this time to discuss any adjustments or explore other concepts you have in mind. Very nice. I love the um in there as well to sound very natural, almost like it wasn't sure that it wanted to tell me to wait for four minutes. That tested and my patience tested too. I can now go on and maybe do one final generation. And in fact, I'm actually going to increase the brush size a bit, select this area of water just here and do my final generation to see how well it comes out. And I'm simply going to ask it to add a school of colorful fish swimming in the clear water. And there you go, with that weight played out, that school of colorful fish kind of doesn't really fit my vibe there in the scene. So you can see this feature is quite hit and miss. Like I said earlier, it does work on small little aesthetic things you want to change. But if you really wanted a tropical beach with a school of fish, you should probably enter that into your initial prompt. That's the kind of feeling I get from this feature. Uh, and of course, Read Aloud is just helpful. I've added a school of colorful fish swimming in the clear turquoise water to the beach scene. So I hope you've enjoyed the tools I've got for you this week. Throw a big fat like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel for more. And remember in the link down below, I'll link to my weekly newsletter where I send an update to your inbox of all the tools I find for you to use in your content creation journey.